Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm Joel Estevez. Uh, I've been training at Sea for 12 years. I started in 2009, um, late 2009. Uh, my goal in which I was never to fight it was just uh, just to train. My brother started training before me. My brother started training about uh, a year or two years before me, and he competed. And so uh, when he fought when, I, when he fought in New York, I came. I went to see him, and I thought it was cool. And I said, damn, maybe maybe I can try and maybe you know see how I do in the gym. But my goal was never to fight. I never wanted to compete. I, um, uh, so after I saw him fight, I, I, I came to the gym. I told Zeez, hey, Zeez, I want to come train. And I, and I, but I don't want to fight. I just want to train, whatever. And um, after about a year and some change, you know, you, you get sparring. You, you, know, you test yourself in the gym, and you feel good. And so you're like, you know, let's, let's compete. And so that's what we did. The first time I competed, I, um, I went to a WKA tournament. That was 2012, 2011, 2012. And uh, I took the gold in the novice division, and then uh, that race is history. Now I've been competing since. I had my last fight in 2016. Uh, but throughout the years, you, uh, the, uh, the sport has definitely grown a lot. Um, we used to see maybe, you know, 12 fights on the card, one show every two, three months to, you know, shows every other month, every month, you know, sometimes, you know, with Fight Night Fights, Warriors Cup. Uh, there's other shows that, that you know have come and gone, uh, but it's, it's definitely grown a lot, which I'm happy to see. And that's that's my story. So my first experience at WKA was in uh, 2011 uh, when I competed. Uh, we just had our fighters compete um, at the 2021 show in Delaware. Uh, big changes, a lot more competitors this time around. When I was there, maybe 300 competitors. This time it was about 600. The, def the level of, of uh, Muay Thai has definitely grown a lot. We had a lot of guys competing, um, and they all did fantastic, man. Even even the guys, you know, first timers and guys who've been competing for a while, they all did they all did incredible. Um, uh, they, what I mean by incredible is that they uh, they all fought with heart. They all fought clean. They fought technical. Um, even the guys who were new and fought guys who who have more experience, they, you know, um, they they fought with heart. They fought with grit. Uh, good defense. Good countering. And uh, what was most special to me is that uh, the day before the tournament, we learned that all, all, all fighters in the Muay Thai bracket were going to fight uh, with, full, with elbows, which, which has never been done before. Usually the guys have to have maybe three fights or you know, B class or C class. This time, anybody who did the Muay Thai bracket uh, fought with elbows, which was a surprise to us. We didn't learn about that until the, the night before uh, the competition. And all of our guys, they fought with elbows, and they defended, they countered, they threw elbows, like, like pros. Uh, well, because the rule change was a surprise to us, we, uh, we, you know, we didn't let the fighters get flustered. We just gave them confidence and let them know that they've trained for this and they've, um, that they're ready for it. They adjusted, you know, they can adjust, and, and, and that's exactly what they did. We just rolled with the punches, and, and as they comes, you know, we take, we take what we get. Uh, let's thank Aziz, uh, of course. Uh, I've been with him for a long time. He's my mentor. He's an amazing person in my life. Uh, of course, my brother who got me into it, my wife, my kids. Um, anybody watching, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. You can find me on Instagram, Joel C. Tan Jim, um, and Facebook, Joel Estevez. Thanks so much, everybody. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share.